Konnichiwa minasan and welcome back to another video! Whoa. So, I hope you all are having a great day, a blessed day and I'm back with another video and as you can see it's, it's drizzling so I hope I, I don't get sick and today yeah, I'm not sure if you can see what's going on back behind me, but yeah, I have some cucumbers ready and some string beans ready. So, I'm not sure if I'm going to harvest them today because of the rain, but yeah, things are looking up right now. Yes, and, and one thing about, about gardening is when when you plant and it's time to harvest it's just it will keep on giving <laughs> until you don't know you don't even have the capacity to to receive but yeah so without any further ado i have a surprise today so today we're going to talk about composting and i'm pretty sure some people might have an idea of composting or different types of composting but one specifically that I'm going to talk about today is Bokashi and yes this is new even for me so but I will walk you through so as I would suspect that many of you haven't heard of the term Bokashi before I recently learned of it but but never heard. So basically, what bokashi is, it's 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 a Japanese word. So start, that's for starter. So bokashi is a Japanese word word that roughly translates to fading, fading rapidly. Yeah, for, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to think about it. Fading away, basically. And it's basic. It's used with a uh, EM garbage ferment fermenter accelerator. So, so this so this contains microbes that will aid in the fermentation process of book of the bokashi because bokashi is basically you're fermenting. The, the food scraps is so you so you later be able to use it in your garden or in your compost pile or in your worm bins yeah I'm pretty sure <laughs> y'all um, you all don't know what what I'm saying but I'll show you pictures <laughs> so so yeah so it's basically an EM and I believe the EM stands for either environmental <laughs> microorganisms or ecological microorganisms i'm not sure but i will definitely drop it in the 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 video somewhere so yeah so i'm using this along with my my kitchen scraps and i also have another surprise so i will show you that in a few seconds so hang tight so so let me show you now Okay, so now that you have a rough idea of Bokashi, um, you might be wondering why Bokashi. And so for number one, you can add literally almost any kind of food. So like in your standard composting method, where like for example, your compost heap or your or your worm composting or vermiculture whichever you can't really add certain kind of foods in those kind of composts so like for example like meat bones like cheese dairy and maybe like dinner scraps 
you can't really add that to to your to, to like a, a composed heap or a or a, or a, <laughs> or a worm composed. So because the, the chemicals in those food will alter the state of the compost. So bokashi is perfect for for those kind of kind of composting. Number two it's really 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 effective or it's really really efficient because you can you can store it in your house and you can seal the lid and you don't have to worry about it getting smelly or anything like that it's it's just quick and easy okay? number three <laughs> so that's the number three it will improve the organic carbon content of the soil and it will also add something that is called hummus not the hummus that that you eat but hummus is like a brown organic matter that is formed like, like when you know like when leaves fall off trees and it's laid on the ground and it stay there until it's you know that brown that brown material yeah it's called hummus so, so bokashi will provide that for the soil so so as you can see bokashi will just boost the soil's ability to produce more beautiful foods like these look like look look at this <laughs> yeah, I'm not even sure. look. So, so that's why we need bokashi all right so, okay so welcome back so today as I mentioned, I have a lovely surprise for you guys. And I'm just don't mind the box. Just pretend as just pretend as if I'm opening it for the first I'm opening it for the first time. So let's so just let's pretend. So yeah. So I'm really excited to show you what I got. And Da, 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 da. Oh, first drum roll. Da, 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 da. Okay, so da, 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 da. Oh, what's this? You might ask. What's this? It's a compost bin, or rather, a Bokashi compost bin. So I'm, I'm not sure if we can get, get the box out of the way. Yeah, it's still drizzling. So, yeah. So this is how it looks. Yeah. Even come with little pictographs to show how to how to get it done. So, kitchen waste. Oh yes, it's microecology. <laughs> no, wait, no. That's not it. <laughs> wow! And smash lid ferment for one to two weeks. And after it's fermented, you add it to your soil. And, uh, and uh, the, what you call it? The thing that's drained off it. Pull it oh, on. Wow. Okay, so I guess, I guess I was taking too long, so <laughs> the bucket decided, the lid decided to fall off. So yeah, so this is how it looks, and uh, come with a few things that I can't really read in Japanese because my Japanese level is not that high so yeah i can only read like 
like like small or understand small amounts of Japanese but yeah when I see things like these I, I just run it through the book to through Google Translate and yeah oh yes basically saying the same thing that we saw on the the thing there oh guys so the E is for <laughs> so the E is for effective effective microorganisms oh boy but yeah it was close enough yeah so so I guess they're just showing the good bacteria versus the bad bacteria which the good bacteria um, it doesn't smell and the back and the bad bacteria is what causes it odor when when it's getting any anaerobic or anaerobic yeah so for the, for the people who have done science you you know what I'm talking about so yeah so it comes with that and also comes with a little scoop or a little um, thing what fully done I guess it can be used as a scoop and also used as a cup. Yeah, cup. That's the word I'm looking for. It's used as a cup. So you set so when it so when it's decomposing it it releases water. Or I don't even I don't remember the the term, but yeah, it releases its own liquid. So you just catch it and then you can actually use the liquid to to actually water your plants so but you have to like dilute it so so maybe one cup full of this no so let me just grab my grab my um watering can to, yeah. so yeah it's a bit dirty because yeah, rain has beaten yeah anyways <laughs> so you'd fill this up and then you would add it to your watering can so but you'll have to dilute it so it, so like one cup of this you can just fold fold it up to the top and you can use it to water your plants so yeah i believe that some people call it tea like plant tea or i don't remember but yeah yeah and it's also white so so you can actually use it outdoor or are perfectly in your kitchen so the top it seals it seals so you don't have to worry about the smell and what's this oh and this is like a little lid to when you when you um when you add the food scraps you use it to push it down so it hold, it holds it down and, and I guess it it adds a little pressure to it too it's not really that heavy but yeah in a way it adds a little pressure so yeah and what else yeah it comes with whatever this QR code that they want me to scan but they have oh they have oh they have oh I guess this is a company live live well I will definitely so welcome back guys and we're going to set up our bokashi bin so <laughs> so correction this I just and I just realized it too like this <laughs> this this is supposed to be at the bottom and not on top because because I was thinking to myself, this doesn't make any sense. Because if I add the food directly in like that, it's just going to clog the, the hole. It's going to clog the whole um, system down there. So I just realized that this has to be at the bottom. So yeah. So we're going to add. Yeah, I love doing that. I'm so satisfied. Whee! <laughs> So we're going to add our kitchen scraps. 
and then but first firstly firstly I'm I'm going to add I'm going to add um a clot because I don't even though the the hole seems small enough but I just have a feeling that when it's breaking down it might go through the go through the holes so I guess as precaution as precaution I'll just add a, a piece of old old towel or old cloth at the bottom so it's so it acts as an extra sieve I suppose or some sort of filter so so yeah so now I'll go and get my kitchen scraps so hang tight okay so I actually decided to to do it the other way so I Put the cloth at the bottom and and put the that thing. I don't I don't remember the name. So I got my kitchen scraps. Is, so I got some. Yeah, guys might be a bit gross, especially because I have I have some compost that I already started that the that I was doing originally before I got interested in this method. So. Yeah, I'm just gonna see if I can hurry it along. So yeah, my seems a bit gross. So eggshells, mm, some <laughs> lettuce, and some paper towels. Yeah, the paper towels are are organic matter, so they will break down easy. So should be fine. So, so I'll just add these. nasty stuff <laughs> so so I just yeah so this is what I'm working with oh I'm not sure so so I have my compost that I was doing not smelling bad so that's good but yeah so now I'm just going to oh see they're almost they're getting there so they're easy so what I'm going to do I'm going to break the, these up into smaller bits because because yeah that's one thing I forgot to mention like when you're doing bokashi um, you have to like get the get them into bits so like you get like fresh kitchen scraps is you you cut them up so it, it's break it breakdowns easier so and faster so right now I'm so I'm just trying to just go through and and break these down and I probably should just probably should add a layer of the of the 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 fermenter so I'm just gonna maybe layer the the bottom of these. And, and so, so yes guys, so it's a bit gross but trust me, your you your plants will love you for it. <laughs> Plus the environment will also love you for it. Because, because if you just throw these in your trash, all of this is just going into a landfill and you know it's causing more havoc for the environment so if you can compost it it's good for the environment and it's good for you and it's good for your plants so everybody benefits all right guys so so i'm going to i guess i'll i'll, fa I'll fast forward the process because this is a lot so i'm just going to 
layer in the the em the fermenter while i add the the kitchen scraps is all right so see you soon so, so i took off what my gloves because i didn't want to get the cup and the bag um dirty so i took off what my gloves and and according to the instructions that's about 50 grams I'm just going to do this and I'm going to layer it in as I go. So, so I'm gonna layer it in. Yeah, so this is the base. I'm just gonna layer it in. Yeah, that, sh that should be good. And then slip my gloves back on. Go to town. So, so enjoy. Please enjoy. So, so there we have it, or Okashi compost. So, so now we wait, wait one to two weeks now for it to to be composted, and then I'll I'll have to make a make some sort of bin because I can't add add it directly to my garden as yet. I want to add it to a bin and kind of inoculate it in a in a way because after after this it, it's going to get a bit acidic so so i want to add it add it to some sort of soil to kind of balance out the ph so there we have it okashi so now so now we want to create an anaerobic process so we know so we don't want to allow any air so let me check here yeah, this is closed yeah the valve below is closed so we don't want any air to to get in so so we can start the fermentation and let me just sprinkle a little more for a good measure because the Jamaican in me wants to, to do it so I'll allow it so so we're going to get a bag so i'm just using a regular trash bags this is how our trash bags look from every every city it's different so we have so this is just another another um what to call it another bag for like plastic bottles i said yes plastic bottles or glass bottles yeah so yeah this is japan and their recycling system everything is color coded and you know so they want to create the an anaerobic so i guess uh, just in the plastic and then 
we're going to cover it with our lid. Yeah, maybe. Eh? Maybe I can. Yeah, yeah. Nice way to. Let's go and yeah, and I'll add this in there. So I guess it it will add some weight. So when it, when it starts to break down, it it pushes it pushes it down. And plus. Yeah, it will just be convenient when I need to add add more food scraps, scraps to it. You know, it's right there. So yes, guys. So, so this is the end of another video. So, so thank you for watching. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And, and guys... I want to get to to at least 500 subscribers. I'm 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 barely at 100, so please sh share share the video with your friends. You know, t tell 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 someone and let's support the channel together and let's grow the channel together. Cause my dream is to to grow the channel so I can so I can show you guys these things. You know. So, so again, like, share, subscribe, and hit the post notification bell. And just maybe I'll I'll either do a continuation or a follow. -up. Maybe I'll I'll probably do a, an update update video on the Bokashi process. So again, guys, like up the video, share the video, tell a friend, subscribe. It helps a lot. So, yes, guys. So, uh, thanks again, and see y'all. Sayonara. Bye. Bye.